So time now for the men's foil individual gold medal match of the Touring Grand Prix. Garrick Meinhardt, the reigning champion, goes up against Filippo Macchi, making his podium debut at senior level. Florian Hoy already got this one underway. The athletes were announced out into the venue here as you were watching replays of the women's gold medal match. Are we ready to go straight away? So I can tell you that uh, Garrick Meinhardt won this title when it was uh, the event was last held back in 2020. He's the world number 17 at the moment. Dropped off a little bit from his new uh, highest world ranking, but uh, still obviously very good at 32 years old. Filippo Macchi making his senior podium debut here, guaranteed at least the silver medal. He's just 21 and the world number 34. We've seen Isora Tibus, who won the title in 2020, so she retained her Touring Grand Prix title, and Garrick Meinhardt has an opportunity to do the same. So this finals piece has uh, had its technical issues, and I've got to say, can't blame it on one side or the other. We've seen it both ends, and we've seen uh, the uh, piece suddenly go unearthed as well, so an off-target light coming up. And we have seen the uh, weapons. That's not the first time we've seen a weapon coming out of the bag in the finals piece being surrendered to the referee. That's quite unusual because all these weapons are checked literally before the fences come out so that you don't have to test them on the piece. So it is a bit of a surprise that we've seen that happen so many times. So, underway for the second time. Meinhardt on the right, fencing for the USA. Mackey on the left, fencing for Italy and the home nation. Just an air of confidence about uh, Filippo Macchi today. Right the way through the day, he's uh, bossed his fights. Uh, and to just you can just feel an aura around him. He's definitely here for business. So line given for Mackie off target. So he stuck his arm out. That gives you the right away as long as you keep it straight. Uh, he ended up with an S-bend in his foil. Tried to straighten up and that's uh, snapped into two pieces. Can't be using that. So now Mackie replaces his uh, weapon. There's an element of a bit of needle as well in Mackie, you have to say. He's fighting with a little bit of anger. He was up against and beat Miles Chamley Watson of the USA a little bit earlier on today, but there was a, uh, some strong words between the two of them. I don't think that kind of bravado is going to work with Garrick Minard. He will just uh, laugh it off. Minard 
Clark also conscious here, not rushing in the fight. He's taking his time. He, look, he's given up a couple of hits here, but he's looking to see what Mackie's doing. He's looking to feel the distance. Not taking any big risks at the moment, but you just wait. Very, very confident hit from uh, Filippo Macchi. Keeps his head up and his eyes open. Why not add two good stabs at uh, Ramiz of the attack? One, two, and then holding his ground, he just looked, waited, and hit his opponent. Very solid start from the Italian. Oh, nice. Little inverted hit there from uh, the left-hander. You see uh, a number of left-handers using that to go underneath the high line parry from the right-hander. Just creates another angle that's very difficult to parry. Oh, there was a chance there for Meinhardt. Mackie has got the wind in his sails here. Oh. There was nowhere Meinhard could go apart from up. <laughs> and even that didn't help. So just hitting on the inside of the wrist, somewhere on the arm. Meinhardt didn't feel it, but uh, that's where the off-target light came up for Mackie right at the beginning of Meinhardt's attack. Now, in close quarters, Meinhardt can't afford to do this again. That's twice now uh, that he's been hit in a close quarters encounter. He's got a either avoid that situation or perhaps get past his opponent. Mackie, some days in fencing is your day, and certainly today, Mackie's having a blinder, whatever happens in this one, but at the moment, he's beating a seasoned medalist at Grand Prix. 6-0 in the first period of the men's foil final here in Turin. So Meinhardt decides he's going to have to come out on the attack. And Mackie can handle that as well. Holds his ground. And is able not only to land the counter-attack, but block the attack as well. Finally, Garrick Meinhardt gets off the mark. <laughs> now beat attack. So can Meinhardt build ahead of steam, just as Mackie's done at the beginning of this fight. Just, if he can get back to within three by the end of this period, he's right back in this match. Nice little faint cut over hit. 
from the American. Oh, that is... It's, it's like Mackie's just turned the lights off a little bit here. He's taken a little bit of a hit to the middle of the chest. Uh, I wonder uh, if uh, that is uh, just to give himself a, a little bit of a, a reset, stop the momentum. Give him the benefit of the doubt, that might have been uh, a little sore if he wasn't expecting it. And it was a very last or late change of line flick up. It's hit the base of his rib cage. That would be a little stingy. Not sure there's much that uh, he can do about it. Well, jacket's unzipped. I'm not 100% sure there's huge rush you can do. That's just the hit. Oh, that was a little earlier. Oh, this is down the other end of the piece. So this is at the right at the beginning of the fight when Mackey got on a massive run. A couple of hits in close quarters. Meinhardt, even jumping up in the air couldn't get away from uh, this lightning Italian who is on absolute fire but then Meinhardt stops the rot and starts landing a number of hits only for Mackie to stop the fight and call for medical attention I'll let you decide whether that's gamesmanship or not it's going to be hard to rattle Garrick Minot with all his experience. But it looks all right. Generous round of applause from the crowd here. He is, of course, on home soil, so most of the crowd are behind him. And uh, the good thing is they did actually start the medical timeout clock, so... Um, That means that uh, can't stop the fight for the same injury again. Filippo Mackie. Might not have seen this all before. I'll be happy to take a little break and resume hostilities. So that was given as attack left, even though Meinhardt missed. If he'd hit, he wouldn't have got the hit. So it has stopped the rapid rock, uh, the rapid run of hits that. Uh, Meinhardt got on, and uh, that's a couple in a row now for Mackie.
So patience there. So showing that there is uh, a lot to his game here, Filippo Macchi, at the age of 21. And you look at the other young Italian fences, it, Tommaso Marini's broken through in the last couple of years, you know, despite all the um, disruption that we've had in the international sport. But sometimes when one athlete breaks through from a country, it, it spurs the others on, and it seems that's what's happening here with at least Filippo Macchi. And uh, he's clearly prepared well for the season. He won the uh, satellite event in Zagreb, Croatia in October. Didn't make the 64 at the uh, World Cup in Bonn, but did it in Tokyo, Japan, and made the quarterfinals at the last World Cup in Paris uh, back in January. So this has been brewing for Filippo Macchi. So we go to the break and uh, Filippo Macchi is in control of this one. Meinhardt has fought his way back from 6-0 down to be within three, so he's not out of this, but Mackey is certainly in a commanding position. So second period of this uh, interesting matchup between Filippo Macchi making his senior podium debut, leading Garrick Meinhardt 10-7 coming into this. Meinhardt's got the first tip, but we've now got a video review. Florian Jorge in control of the fight, uh, of the fight and uh, he goes to consult his video referee assistant Ayub Fajani and gives attack to the left so rather than Meinhardt closing the gap it's uh, opened up for Mackey on a turnaround of decision but Garek Meinhardt with that uh, much more direct approach, that's what's been effective for him. Threatening, but changing the line at the last minute. It's always going to be the attack then. And this just shows the maturity of the fight craft within Filippo Macchi. He's able now to control his long attack. One light. 
that's, that's happened twice now for uh, Garrick Meinhardt coming into the middle off uh, a reset and a missing. Meinhardt went on that run of hits from 6 0 down. Mackey's decided the way to contain that and the way to contest it is come into the middle. And if he thinks Meinhardt's going after him, he goes after his opponent. Mackey coming off the piece. He can't score that hit. He can't be given that hit. The referee's called halt because he's come off the piece. Mackey now contesting it, but he's the one that slipped out of the piece. That's what the referee's called halt for. For the safety of the athlete, he can't score there. And has to, when he comes back to the piece, to concede a metre of ground. And now Garrick Meinhardt's calling. Now we've got to look at where the back foot has gone off the piece because you then have to reset the fences one meter behind that point, the, the fence that's broken the boundaries. Referees are getting a look at uh, the replay here. They've had a very quick look at it, in fact, and they're right back out here. So critical where Mackey came off the piece and with which foot. So he's saying that he was inside, uh, sorry, uh, had more than a metre of ground from where he came off the piste. So setting him a metre back doesn't push him over the back line and result in a hit for Garrick Meinhardt. First one is no for me from uh, Mackey, and uh, Florian Jorge has given that to Meinhardt, and Mackey acknowledges. Oh, While well, we've been watching that replay, uh, Meinhardt's gone and scored another one here. He gets another one without a reply from Mackey. We've got a fight back on our hands. Beat attack from Garrick Meinhardt. Ooh, can he get another one? Weapon tested from uh, Mackey. It works. I think sometimes those tests are just uh, a little bit of hope that it somehow is broken. <laughs> uh, but uh, it also allows another pause in the match as Mackey hands the weapon in, says, I'm not happy with that one. I want another one. Goes to his bag. Oh, that's nice. Can't beat Flick's shoulder. Mackey won away from his first medal at senior level and won away from that medal being gold. Crowd are already clapping here in Turin. Attack goes through, but it's off target. Attack right for Meinhardt. Certainly not done here. Meinhardt will fight to the end, but now just pulling on his back leg, on his back hamstring. Oh, he's done some damage to that calf coming off the piste. Oh, another one across the body. This opposite-handed fencing, it's, it's, a, it's a, a hit that's very common, both for a left-hander against a right-hander and a right-hander against a left-hander. Garrick Meinhardt within one. Three. 
Mackey looks strong still. Doesn't look nervous, but Meinhardt in close quarters. This time, he doesn't back away. And that is a lesson he learned early on. <laughs> Very strong refereeing from Florian Jorge. Exceptionally close. Maki finding the blade, but hitting off target. Right on a knife edge, this one. Attack right for me, preparation from Maki, and that's what Florin Jorge has given. And we've got a 14 all on our hands here. And I've got to say, I'm nervous for both of these fences. I've got no idea which way this one's going to go. The momentum has run from one side to the other. Perhaps it's a turn of Maki to get on a run. But Meinhardt has got himself right back in this. The crowd a bit loud still. Maki not hearing the referee, even though he's mic'd up. Now, the referee's going to have a look at this one. In my opinion, Maki has stepped in and tried to look for the blade, and Meinhardt has landed the final attack. The referee has to go and look at the video anyway at 14-14. Both fences cheering for this one, but Meinhardt for me, is the more convincing. I think Mackie's gone and looked for it here, there, and that's where the attack starts from Meinhardt. I'm even more convinced now I've seen the replay. Attack right for Gerrit Meinhardt. He's defended the title he won back in 2020, but boy, oh boy, what grit, what determination to fight back from so far behind on two occasions. Gerrit Meinhardt, you superstar. You are the champion of Turin, but boy. Filippo Macchi has made a big statement here in Turin, claiming his first ever senior medal, silver at the Turin Grand Prix. <laughs> well, what a match that was. What an absolutely stunning match that was. Garrick Meinhardt from the USA claiming the gold medal here in Turin. Defending the title he won at the very last time this event was held back in 2020. So that's it on the piste. Take a look back at 14-14, the final hit. Watch the arm come back here from the fencer on the left, Filippo Mackey. And that's what gives the victory to Garrick Meinhardt. Please come for the play for the medal ceremony. Well, what a matchup and confirmation that Garrick Meinhardt takes the touring title from Filippo Macchi in a thrilling 15-14 gold medal match.